here we learn how to use the intent service let me create a project intent service demo and change to the package name Now here, just I'm going to take one button. Why? Because you know the intent service. Just you start the service. That's it. Automatically, it will terminate whenever the work has been completed in the background. So already we discussed in the previous video uh, what is the intent service. How to uh, that means when we need to use the intent service. So start service means start service. And we need to come to the Java code. First, we need to create a class to write a programming for the intent service. So my I'm going to say my service that is extends with intent service. Sorry, intent service. And automatically it will ask you to add the unimplemented method that is on handle intent method. So this is the method we are using here on handle intent method. So this method handles that suppose whenever you want to run the operation in the background that that uh, operation programming you need to write under this on handle intent method. So automatically this method itself it will terminate whenever you the operation has been completed. That's it. Automatically it will terminate the service. Now you need not to bother about the to stop the service. That means uh, just we should start the service so the operation started to run in the background whenever the operation is completed automatically service itself it will terminate but if you come to the service class so there we should start the service and we are the responsible person to stop the service until unless we call stop service the service is keep on running in the background and here we are getting error because of here we need to uh, add the constructor also so to, uh, so what kind of work the constructor is doing in a sense the constructor should pass the name to the worker thread here so here worker thread is working so worker thread is doing the uh, work uh, to run the operation in the background so we should give one name for the worker thread so that one we can give through the um, constructor so here we are not giving anything just here uh, super means super class constructor so to, to the super class constructor we are passing the name for the work cutter then I'm going to say suppose my service just my service that's it now so here uh, this method is working or not we can check it out that's why I'm going to keep on log dot d and here I'm going to say intent intent service and here I'm going to say write a intent Intent service executed. So which method? Here on handle intent method. So on handle intent. Again, we need to restart this service in the manifest file. So application add service browse. my service okay save it and we need to start the service at the same time so we are taking the button button start btn equal to button find you by id r dot id dot button underscore start service then start btn dot set on click listener of new on click listener we need to import the package simple now we need to create a service intent so intent intent equal to new 
intent of get application context and here you need to mention my service dot class and here start service of just a intent that's it so you need not to call stop service here just run the application you need to see that output in the logcat so ddms java where you will get the logcat okay fine window show view other android logcat debug see start service there is a message dot service just will check the program once my service okay my service and start service my service is kept log dot d intent service intent service is executed okay fine come to the ddms okay fine we will select this uh, uh, emulator fine okay triple one to four point four point one two okay fine so come to here and open the log cat so automatically you will see the output here intent service intent service is executed on handle intent okay again you will see intent service is executed on handle intent right that is a concept of intent service thank you